Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the internal registers of 8085 microprocessor. So, the picture shows you the registers of 8085 microprocessor. So, before that, let us understand what is a register and what it is made up of. So, a register is nothing but a form of memory. A register is nothing but a form of memory and it is made up of series of flip flops. So, if it is a 8 bit register, then it will consist of 8 flip flops. If it is a 4 bit register, it consists of 4 flip flops. So, the registers in 8085 are accumulator, flag register, B, C, D, E, H and L. All these are 8 bit registers. Stack pointer 16 bit, program counter 16 bit. It has 16 address lines and 8 data lines. So, continuing we will discuss each and every group of registers in detail. So, first let us start with the accumulator. So, what is a accumulator? Accumulator is nothing but a 8-bit register. It is a 8-bit register which holds the 8-bit data. For example, I have to add two numbers, 2 and 3. So, usually what do we do is, we take the 2 in the accumulator. So, one of the operand will be in the accumulator and the one of the operand can be in any other general purpose register means B, C, D, E, H, L, anything. So, here we are choosing some B register. So, what is the instruction we write? Add B. So, what does it do? It adds the 2 and 3. So, after adding the, so wait the, like ALU is going to, arithmetic logic unit is going to add the 2 and 3 numbers and the result will be in accumulator register. So, what do you see here? First thing, one of the operand accumulator is a 8 bit register and it also holds one of the operand, operand means data during any arithmetic or logical operations and it also has the data or we can also put it in another way. The result will be collected in the accumulator. The final result also will be placed in the accumulator. So, that is the reason it is also called an accumulator register and is very important register. So, as uh, discussed accumulator is a 8 bit register. The data to be processed by ALU is stored in accumulator means one of the operand is stored in the accumulator. It also stores the result of the operation carried out by the ALU unit. So, the result is also collected or accumulated in the A register. So, next we go up with the general purpose registers. So, first what are general purpose registers? So, general purpose registers are used to hold data and they are like any other registers. The general purpose registers in 8085 are as mentioned in the figure B, C, D, E, H and L. These are the general purpose registers and each register is of 8 bit size means they can hold 8 bit of information. So, how many registers? 6 registers, 6 general purpose registers. So, apart from these, these registers are also can be worked in pairs. So, if you try to pair up these registers, you can pair them as BC. D H L. So, when I pair these uh, registers, 
they become 16 bit each bc 16 de 16 and hl 16 individually they can be used as 8 bit registers when working as a pair they can store 16 bit information out of these three pairs hl so hl register pair is also used as memory pointer means what it is used to store the memory addresses it is used to store the memory addresses so revising general purpose registers are like any other registers which store the data how many they are they are six registers b c d e h and l they can also be worked in pairs b c d e h l i cannot pair b d c e or b d h and e l they should be paid as b c d e h l only and h l register it can be used as memory pointer means which stores the memory addresses next is your temporary register so temporary register means uh, if you look into the architecture of 8085 we have w and z there are two registers which are 8 bit each there are two temporary registers which are named as w and z as the name suggests this register act as a temporary memory during arithmetic and logical operations so the microprocessor will be using these two registers in order to store the intermediate results so that is the reason these registers are accessed by only microprocessor only microprocessor can access the these temporary registers and the programmer cannot access the temporary registers next program counter so program counter is a special purpose register it is a 16 bit register so what do the program counter holds the program counter stores the address of the next instruction to be executed always remember it holds the address of the next instruction to be executed you know the number of address lines are 16 and the size of the program counter is also 16 so in other words we can also say it as program counter keeps track of the memory address of the instructions that are being executed by the microprocessor stack pointer so stack pointer is basically it is a 16 bit register and it is it holds the it holds or stores the address of the address of the top of the stack address of the top of the stack now what is stack stack is nothing but a group of memory locations or set of memory locations which are set aside to be used for stack memory from the ram memory so from ram a group of memory locations are taken and they will be used as a stack memory and you know once i say the stack it follows last in first out last in first out principle so what is the stack pointer is going to hold it is going to hold the address of the top of the stack and it is a 16 bit register next going with the flag register this is a very important register so first flag register is a 8 bit register in 8085 it is a 8 bit register and it consists of individual flip flops 
what does it has individual flip flops and remember the content of the flag register gives the status gives the status of the current result i repeat again it gives the status of the current result processed by alu so as i told you it is a 8 bit register so what are the various flags sign flag zero flag auxiliary carry flag parity flag and carry flag so first sign flag so during any arithmetic and logical operation if the result is negative if the neg result is negative or the d7 bit of the accumulator is set then the your flag your sign flag is equal to 1 next zero flag so during any arithmetic and logical operation if the result is zero then zero flag will be equal to 1 otherwise zero so talking about the auxiliary carry this auxiliary carry deals with the bcd operations whenever there is a carry from the lower nibble to the upper nibble then auxiliary carry will be equal to 1 otherwise it will be equal to 0 so coming to the parity so after the operation after the uh, arithmetic or logical operations if the number of ones in the result are even then the parity flag will be equal to 1 otherwise parity flag will be equal to 0 and talking about the carry flag so carry flag will be equal to 1 if the operation requires any carry during the operation during any arithmetic or logical operation otherwise it is equal to 0 so just revising your 8085 microprocessor has accumulator register which i already told you it is a register which holds one of the operand as well as the it collects the results flag register stores the or it gives the the content of the flag register gives the status of the current result processed by the alu b c d e h l are the general purpose registers stack pointer stack pointer is a special purpose register which holds the address of the top of the stack program counter is a register it is a 16 bit register which holds the address of the next instruction to be executed thank you all